So in this video, we will show you how to create a database access profile in the Socket Queue database uh, for the Enability client. Now, let me go into the Socket Queue database. Um, I will not go into all the aspects of the Socket Queue database, but really only into creating a new database access profile. So I create a new profile and in the first tab I select the database which I would like to publish for the Nmobility client. I will select the server and the database. Now for the purpose of this demo I will use the book store or book catalog database and uh, we have actually two of them. Um, the second one uh, being uh, uh, filled with some documents which contain rich text fields. So we can actually demonstrate also uh, how rich text is be rendered to HTML and uh, displayed in the mobility client. So I will choose this database. Okay, so I have to give this profile a name. And now this, this profile name is actually uh, the database title appearing in the mobility client. So I call this book catalog demo. And uh, I would also like to show how the mobility client is handling attachments. And for that, I require some server-side executed formula. So I have to enable that. Uh, what I can also do is uh, I could display a database icon to the uh, to the database title in the in mobility client. Now we leave this out for the moment. Now I need to press F9 here to update each of the tabs. Um, what has happened once I select the database, um, the views and forms and fields are being read in. And um, so I can basically select them for access. Now I select three views here. Um, the books XML view is an XML formatted view. I know that. And uh, it doesn't make sense in the context of the unmobility client. So I leave this view out. Okay, now we are in the view order and display names tab. And in here we can decide how the views uh, will be listed in the mobility client uh, with regards to sequence and with regards to the view title. Now I had to press F9 here again to update the fields. Um, by default, I, have list, uh, I get listed the uh, views which I have selected in the previous tab. So I can overwrite here the title. Now what I'm going to do here is uh, the first one is, uh, sorry, um, books by genre. The second one is books by title. And the last one is books by year. Okay, let's go to the next tab where we define the uh, form and subforms. In this case, there's only one form in the database, which uh, we will provide access to. Uh, so I select the books database, uh, so, sorry, the book form, and go to the next tab, uh, which is the available field tab. Again, I press F9, and I get the list of fields, and um, I will select simply all of them and I go to the last tab which is the field order and prompt. So here in the last tab I can um, define uh, the fields which are accessible and with what kind of prompt they will appear in the end mobility client. Um, so the first thing what I will do is I will actually change the sequence here a bit. The first two fields listed here are actually rich text fields and I would rather like them to be uh, listed at the bottom of the form. Uh, let's take the price field down 
the title at the top. General year auto. Okay, so that's pretty much like how I would like to have it listed. And now we add the prompts. Um, now, with regards to the summary field, um, the summary is actually uh, the summary of the book and it contains rich text. Uh, and what I can do is because rich text fields are not uh, shown with their complete content in the N Mobility form view, but uh, what the N Mobility client is doing is shows a summary provided we provide the summary. And therefore what I'm doing here is, um, I'm putting a keyboard here, summary. Now let's not confuse this. Uh, unfortunately the field in the uh, catalog database or book catalog database is called book summary, but that summary refers to the content of the book, whereas uh, I refer here to a summary of a rich text field. Now I will also name the prompt content and cover and that's about it. So now the last thing what I will do is I will actually list all attachments available on the book document or book catalog document and what I will do here is I will add actually a computed field and provide a formula. Now this formula function uh, returns a list of attachments contained within the document. And uh, what you can see in the beginning is we have actually two arts because um, the uh, SOCKET-Q uh, web service interface uh, recognizes a computed field uh, with the at symbol, but then the formula obviously, or the formula function at attachments is then the real function. So, and on the other side, what I will do is also prompt this list of attachments. So that's that's it here at this point. Now, um, the the possibilities you have with regards to uh, uh, computed fields and special kind of prompts are listed below here in the in the legend. And we also have documented this in the in the manuals of SOCKET-Q. Okay, let me save this. So now we have um, a new profile. I'm, I'm just realizing that I've forgotten to uh, remove the reader uh, names field entries uh, and make it a public profile. Uh, so I do that now. So from this point onwards, this profile is actually public and available uh, on the flexdomino.net uh, server. Uh, okay, I will now start the N Mobility client in a playbook simulator. Let me move this into the screen here. Okay, now you can see we have basically one uh, one database available to us, which is the book catalog. Uh, database for which we just created the database access profile. I will click on it and we see now the list of views which we have given access to. Uh, I will select the first one, the books in general. Now I don't want to go into too much details of the N Mobility client and what functionality it provides. I will just go all the way through opening a document. So I open all the categories here and I take just one document, open it up. And what we can see here is now the list of fields which we have been given access to. And um, what you can see here is we have two rich text fields, one of which is the content. Uh, we have a summary to that. If I double click on it, the rich text opens. Okay, I close this and if I double click on the cover, I have a JPEG file in here, which I also can open. 
and we have a list of the attachments. And here it seems I have been doing something wrong in the configuration because uh, suppose this would be a list of clickable attachments. So let's have a look at what went wrong over there. Okay, I removed the M mobility client and we are back to the uh, SOPGATE queue database. Let me open again our profile and let's have a look at the field order and prompts list. Okay, now I immediately see what I forgot. Basically, to define the field for the attachment as a attachment list field, I have to add this files keyword here. And matter of fact, if we go over down the agenda, we have that explanation over here. Oops, I can't select that to highlight. Okay, so we will save this again and move the client back in here and we will just open a different document and here we go we have our attachment list and matter of fact in this document we have actually a number of attachments and from here i can open these attachments Okay, as the last step, we will open the database access profile again. And what we're going to do is to add a database icon. Let's just drag this icon here and just to quickly open it up so that we can have a look at it. So that's the icon we just attached to the database access profile. Let's save this and we switch back to the unmobility client. And what we need to do obviously, because uh, we don't have a kind of reload function, but there is a way of uh, sort of restarting the client by going into the location setup document and just reconnecting to the SOAPGATE queue system and uh, what we can see we have now a nice icon to the bookstore catalog database. Okay that's it uh, for this video. Uh, I hope it could show you how to quickly create a database access profile for N-Mobility.